Deus in auditorium meum intende, Domine ad adjuvandum me festina, Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. O splendid giver of the light, though darkness covered earth before, now that the gloomy night has passed, thy brightness fills the sky once more. Thou art the world's true morning star, Not that which dimly in the night Is herald of the dawn to come And shines with only meager light But brighter even than the sun That clearest light and day thou art Enlightening with blazing rays the inner depths of mind and heart. Let chastity of mind prevail, and let not baser wants endure, but send the Holy Ghost to keep the temple of our body pure. To thee, O Christ, our gracious King, And to thy Father glory be, Who with the Spirit paraclete Forever reign in majesty. Amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage And enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember As I pour out my soul, How I would lead the rejoicing crowd Into the house of God, Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, The throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, My Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me, As I think of you, From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, From the hill of Mitzar. Deep is calling on deep, In the roar of waters, Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to my God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Gloria Patri et Filio, Et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, 
et in secula seculorum amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power, as you have used us to show them your holiness. So now use them to show us your glory. Thus will they know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart because I bore your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Holy and righteous in his sight, they served the Lord all the days of their lives. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Per viscera misericordiae dei nostri, in quibus visitabit nos oriens exalto, illuminare his qui in tenebris et in umbro mortis et ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam pacis. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Holy and righteous in his sight, they served the Lord all the days of their lives. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your Spirit, patience, kindness, and gentleness. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we love you and possess you, for you are love, and may every action of our lives praise you. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers, without counting the cost, to help them on the way to salvation. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers Saint Cyril and Methodius. Grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching in true faith and right confession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Saint Cyril and Methodius, pray for us. Saint Antoninus of Sorrento, pray for us. Saint Valentine, Pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.